Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to find square root of uh, three digit and four digit numbers easily. Okay, before we start learning this stuff, uh, we need to understand uh, some uh, basic facts. So that is, uh, if I find square root of any three digit perfect square or four digit perfect square, the answer will always be a two digit number. For example, consider uh, the smallest uh, three digit perfect square, that is 100. If I find square root of this smallest three digit perfect square, the answer is 10. And uh, the largest four digit perfect square is going to be 9801, that is 9801. If I find square root for this number, the result is 99. So the square root of any three digit perfect square or any four digit perfect square, the answer is always a two digit number. Okay, now let us find the squares of uh, all the nine digits in mathematics, that is from one to nine. So the value of one square is uh, one, the value of uh, two square is four, the value of three square is uh, nine, the value of four square is 16, the value of five square is uh, 25, the value of six square is 36, the value of uh, seven square is uh, 49, the value of eight square is 64, and uh, the value of 9 square is 81. Okay, if I look at the results of 1 square and 9 square, I have the same digit 1 at 1's place. And in the results of 2 square and 8 square, I have the same digit at 1's place, that is 4, 4. The same thing we have for 3 square and 7 square, that is uh, we have 9 at 1's place. And uh, in the results of 4 square and 6 square, I have 6 at 1's place. So let's mark this. So the result of one square and nine square are the same digit at one space, that is one. The result of uh, two square and eight square have four at one space. Uh, the result of three square and seven square have uh, nine at one space. And the result of four square and uh, six square have, have six at one space. And uh, the result of uh, five square is uh, 25, uh, in which we have five at one's place. Okay, now uh, let us uh, find square root of a uh, three digit perfect square. Uh, consider the square root of uh, 576. Here, 576 is a perfect square. Okay, as I told you, uh, if you find square root of any three digit perfect square uh, or four digit perfect square, the answer is always a two digit number. Okay, now I have to find the two digits uh, I have over here. So that is the answer for square root of 576. Uh, now my aim is to find the first digit uh, over here. Okay, to get the first digit, uh, the result of square root of 576, what I need to do is I have to split up this number 576 into groups by taking two digits from the right. Okay, this is the left side of the number and this is the right side of the number. So I start taking two digits from the right side so I consider 76 as one group and five as another group. Okay, now I have two groups, the given number 576. The first group, we just have only one digit, that is five. The second group, we have two digits, that is uh, seven and six or 76. Okay, so to get the first digit over here, what I need to do is I have to take the number in the first group, that is five. Okay, now just look at this number five in the results of uh, the squares of all the nine digits over here. So do we find five? No, but uh, I know the number five we have between the two perfect squares four and nine. So we can write uh, those two perfect squares over here, four and nine. Okay, so four is a perfect square which is less than this number five, which is in the first group. Always uh, in these two perfect square, consider the perfect square which is less than the number we have in the first group, that is four. If I find square root of this number 4, which is 2, and also find the square root of this number 9, that is 3. Okay, so I said 4 is a perfect square, which is less than 5. So we have to take the square root of 4, that is 2, as the first digit over here. Okay, now I got the first digit uh, of the square root of uh, 576. Still, I have to get the second digit. Okay, to get the second digit, what I need to do is, I have to consider uh, the second group, which contains 76. Okay, in the second group, uh, the digit at unit places, uh, I mean, one's place is six. 
Okay, in the squares of the nine digits over here, consider the two squares which result six. They are uh, four square and six square. So you take these two numbers, four and six. Okay, now what we need to do is we have to multiply uh, the square roots of four and nine, which are two and three. So the product of two and three is six. Now compare this product six and the number in the first group that is five. So the product six is greater than the number in the first group five. Whenever this product is greater than the number in the first group, we have to consider the smaller of these two numbers, which is four. So that's the second digit. So 24 uh, is the square root of 576. Here I may have a question. What if the product is less than the number in the uh, first group? That is why. Very simple. You just take the larger of these two numbers. Since the product is greater than the number 5 in the first group, I take the smaller of these two numbers 4 as a second digit. So 24 is a uh, square root of uh, 576. Let's look at another example. Uh, consider the square root of uh, the three digit number 841. 841 is a perfect square. So the result of this uh, square root of 841 is a two digit number. Okay, my aim is to find the first digit. So to do that, I have to split up, split up this number into groups. So in the first group, uh, I mean uh, 41 uh, is considered as one group and eight as uh, considered as another group. Okay, I take uh, the number in the first group that is eight. Okay, now, uh, so eight is between the two perfect squares, uh, four and nine. So we can write uh, four over here and nine. And uh, so four is a perfect square, which is less than eight. So find the square root of this four, which is two. So two is the uh, first digit we have over here. And also find the square root of this uh, perfect square 9, that is 3. Okay, now to get the second digit over here, what I need to do is I have to consider uh, the digit at one's place in the second group, that is 1. Okay, uh, here the two squares, the 1 square and 9 square, have uh, the digit 1 at one's place. So we can write uh, those two numbers over here, 1 and 9. So one of these two digits uh, is going to be the second digit here. So to decide which one uh, is appropriate, one or nine, we need to multiply the square roots of four and nine, that is two and three, which is equal to six. Here, this product is less than the number in the first group. In that case, I have to choose the greater number over here. So nine is a second digit. So 29 is the uh, square root of 29 is equal to square root of 841. Let's look at another example. Uh, this time we can consider a four digit perfect square that is uh, 6241. Uh, let's find square root of this uh, four digit perfect square. So the result of this one is also a two digit number. Okay, let's try to find the first digit over here. For that, uh, we have to split up, split up this number into groups 6241. Uh, by taking two digits from its right side, in that case, I'll be getting uh, 41 as for one group and 62 as another group. Okay, to get the first digit here, the result of first card of 6,241, I have to consider the number in the first group, 62. Okay, so 62, do we have 62 over here? No, but 62 is between the two perfect squares, 49 and 64. Okay, so 62 is between the two perfect squares 49 and 64. Okay, so 49 is a perfect square which is less than 62. So just consider uh, out of these two perfect squares, consider the perfect square which is less than 62. Take the square root of this 49 which is 7. So 7 is the first digit we have over here. So we consider the two perfect square between which we have the 62. So in these two perfect square, we consider the smaller one, which is, uh, I mean, uh, the number, the perfect square, which is smaller than 62. And we take square root of that perfect square. Then we get seven, seven is the first digit. Okay, to get the second digit, uh, one second. So we can find the square root of this 64 also, that is eight. Okay, now to get the second digit, I have to consider the digit at one space in the second number, that is one. 
Okay, so the two squares, one square and nine square, uh, if you consider the results of for these two squares, I have one at one's place. So you can write these two numbers, one and nine. One of these two digits uh, is going to be here as a second digit. So to decide uh, which one uh, has to come over here, we have to multiply the square roots of these two perfect square 14 and 64, then that is uh, seven times eight, which is going to be 56. 56, uh, the product 56 is less than the number in the first group. Whenever the product we get over here is less than the number in the first group, we have to choose the greater of these two numbers, that is nine. So 79 is the square root of 6,241.